Javier Bardem Spanish actor Javier Ángel Encinas Bardem is a Spanish actor. In a career spanning over three decades, he has received various accolades, including an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, and a Golden Globe Award. Born, March 1, 1969, age 55 years, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Spain. Spouse, Penelope Cruz, M. 2010. Height, 1.81 meters. Nominations, Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, more. Upcoming movies, F1, Spellbound. Siblings, Carlos Bardem, Monica Bardem. Javier Bardem belongs to a family of actors that have been working on films since the early days of Spanish cinema. He was born in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Spain, to actress Pilar Bardem, Maria del Pilar Bardem Munoz, and businessman José Carlos Encinas Dusenag. His maternal grandparents were actors Rafael Bardem and Matilda Munoz San Pedro, and his uncle is screenwriter Juan Antonio Bardem. He got his start in the family business, at age six, when he appeared in his first feature, El Picaro, 1974, a.k.a. The Scoundrel. During his teenage years, he acted in several TV series, played rugby for the Spanish national team, and toured the country with an independent theatrical group. Javier's early film role as a sexy stud in the black comedy, Jamon, Jamon, 1992, a.k.a. Ham Ham, propelled him to instant popularity and threatened to typecast him as nothing more than a brawny sex symbol. Determined to avert a beefcake image, he refused similar subsequent roles and has gone on to win acclaim for his ability to appear almost unrecognizable from film to film. With over 25 movies and numerous awards under his belt, it is Javier's stirring, passionate performance as the persecuted Cuban writer, Reynaldo Arenas, in Before Night Falls, 2000, that will long be remembered as his breakthrough role. He received five Best Actor awards and a Best Actor Oscar nomination for his portrayal. Family Spouse Penelope Cruz, July 2010, present, two children. Children Leo Luna Parents Jose Carlos Encinas Dusenag Pilar Bardem Relatives Rafael Bardem, grandparent Matilda Munoz San Pedro, grandparent Juan Antonio Bardem, aunt or uncle Maria Bardem, cousin. Rafael Bardem Jr., cousin. Carlos Bardem, sibling. Monica Bardem, sibling. Miguel Bardem, cousin. Trademarks. Deep gruff voice. Trivia. Dedicated the Oscar he won for No Country for Old Men, 2007, to his mother, Pilar, whom he brought with him to the ceremony. At the end of his acceptance speech, Javier said to her, originally in Spanish, Mom, this is for you, this is for your grandparents, for your parents, Rafael and Matilda, this is for the actors of Spain, who have brought, like you, the dignity and the pride to our job, this is for Spain and this is for all of you. Married long-term partner Penelope Cruz at a friend's house in the Bahamas in a small ceremony with just family members present. Says in interviews that he does not know how to drive. Several years ago, a stranger in a disco asked him his name. When Javier replied, the man punched him in the face, for no apparent reason, breaking his nose. Has been in a relationship with Penelope Cruz since they began working together on Vicky Cristina Barcelona, 2008. Good friends with Josh Brolin and Tom Cruise. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6834, Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood. California on November 8, 2012. Became a father for the second time at age 44, when his wife Penelope Cruz gave birth to their daughter Luna Encinas Cruz on July 22, 2013. To portray Reynaldo Arenas, Javier not only learned Cuban Spanish, but Cuban accented English, and lost 30 pounds to better resemble the smaller framed Arenas. Javier's original interest was in painting and he studied at Madrid's Escuela de Arts y Oficios. Eventually, deciding he'd never be a talented painter, he drifted into a number of odd jobs, working as a bouncer, a writer, a construction worker, and even a stripper, is one of 14 actors to have won the Academy Award, BAFTA Award, 
Critics' Choice Award, Golden Globe Award, and SAG Award for the same performance. The others in chronological order are Jeffrey Rush for Shine, 1996, Jamie Foxx for Ray, 2004, Philip Seymour Hoffman for Capote, 2005, Forrest Whitaker for The Last King of Scotland, 2006, Daniel Day-Lewis for There Will Be Blood, 2007, and Lincoln, 2012, Heath Ledger for The Dark Knight, 2008, and Christoph Waltz for Inglorious Bastard, 2009, Colin Firth for The King's Speech, 2010, Christopher Plummer for Beginners, 2010, J.K. Simmons for Whiplash, 2014, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant, 2015, Sam Rockwell for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, 2017, and Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour, 2017. Played rugby union as a teen and was on the Spanish national team. Became a father for the first time at age 41 when his wife Penelope Cruz gave birth to their son Leonardo Encinas Cruz on January 22, 2011. The Bardem family owns a restaurant in Madrid, Spain, called La Bardem Silla. The restaurant is managed by Javier's sister, Monica Bardem. His Best Actor nomination for Before Night Falls, 2000, made him the first Spanish actor to receive an Academy Award nomination and his Best Supporting Actor victory for No Country for Old Men, 2007, made him the first Spanish actor to win an Academy Award. Javier, his mother, Pilar Bardem, and his siblings, Monica Bardem and Carlos Bardem, often appear in each other's films. Had a long relationship with Christina Pays. They were together for 10 years. Actors Gail Garcia Bernal and Diego Luna list him as their favorite actor. Met Penelope Cruz for the first time on the set of Jaman, Jaman, 1992, but they would not become a couple until working together in Vicky Cristina Barcelona, 2008. They also worked together on Live Flesh, 1997, but did not share any on screen time. Member of the jury at the Cannes Film Festival in 2005 is one of only four Academy Award-winning actors to play a primary James Bond villain. The others are Christopher Walken in A View to a Kill, 1985, Christoph Waltz in Spectre, 2015, and Rami Malek in No Time to Die, 2021, beat out Johnny Depp for the role of Florentino Ariza in Love in the Time of Cholera, 2007. Was originally cast in Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, 2010, but dropped out of the project and was replaced by Josh Brolin. He has worked with seven directors who have won a Best Director Oscar, Milos Forman, Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen, Woody Allen, Alejandro G. Inarritu, and Sam Mendes. To become Ramon Sampedro, a 55-year-old Spanish man who made headlines with a crusade to end his own life, Javier, who was in his 30s at the time, was on the set of The Sea Inside, 2004 at the crack of dawn for a five-hour makeup session that produced the necessary aging. Bears such a strong resemblance to fellow actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan, they are sometimes confused for one another. Chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history, number 73, 2007. Teamed up with the Enough Project's co-founder, John Prendergast, to raise awareness about conflict minerals in the Congo, 2011. He has said that he doesn't watch his own films. His Oscar nomination for being the Ricardos, 2021, coincided with wife Penelope Cruz's nomination for Parallel Mothers, 2021, a first for the couple. Neither took home the statuette, was originally cast as Guido Contini in 9, 2009, which he turned down and Daniel Day-Lewis was eventually given the role. The longest he has gone without an Oscar nomination is seven years between Before Night Falls, 2000, and No Country for Old Men, 2007, is one of six performers with multiple Oscar nominations for foreign language films. The others are Marcello Mastriani for Divorce Italian Style, 1961, A Special Day, 1977, and O.C. Sirene, 1987, Italian, Sofia Loren for Two Women, 1960, and Marriage Italian Style, 1964, Italian, Liv Ullman for The Emigrants, 1971, and Face to Face, 1976, Swedish, Isabella Johnny for The Story of Adele H., 1975, and Camille Claudel, 1988, French, and Marion Cotillard for La Vie en Rose, 2007, and
Two Days, One Night, 2014, French. Bardem was nominated for his performances in Before Night Falls, 2000, and By Beautiful, 2010, Spanish. Son of Pilar Bardem. Nephew of Juan Antonio Bardem. As of 2022, he has been in two films that were Oscar nominated for Best Picture, No Country for Old Men, 2007, and Dune, Part 1, 2021, with the former being a winner in the category. Brother-in-law of Monica Cruz and Eduardo Cruz. Younger brother of Carlos Bardem and Monica Bardem. Grandson of Rafael Bardem and Matilda Munoz San Pedro. Grand nephew of Guadalupe Munoz San Pedro and Mercedes Munoz San Pedro. Second nephew of Luce Soto and Carmen Lozano. Cousin of Miguel Bardem. Political grand nephew of Manuel Soto. Political second nephew of Luis Pena. Vacationed with Penelope Cruz and his family, mother, Pilar Bardem and brother, Carlos Bardem, in Fernando de Nerona, a cluster of islands located directly off the Brazilian coast. Born at 9.30 p.m., GMT. Quotes. One of my dreams came true when, Julian Schnabel, showed the movie, Before Night Falls, 2000, to Al Pacino, and he called me at 3 a.m. Spanish time and told me he liked my performance. I told him, there are two things I believe in, God and El Pacino, Bardem has, himself, corrected this statement saying I always said that I don't believe in God, I believe in El Pacino. On his girlfriend Christina, who is a translator and coaching him in English, I'm in love with my English teacher. We have many of our lessons in bed. I live in Spain. Oscars are something that are on television Sunday night, basically, very late at night. You don't watch, you just read the news after to see who won or who lost. The award is important in order to bring people to the movie theater. That's the only principal meaning of any award. We are so scared about talking about death that we are letting people die in silence. It is good to talk publicly. It would be amazing to think your film or your performance had the power to make changes, but it's enough that it makes people talk and think. Maybe they shouldn't do anything anyway. The church has strong feelings, and we respect that. On his Oscar nomination for Before Night Falls, 2000, it's exhausting, almost a full-time job. Last time I found it was too much about bringing attention to yourself. I'm proud of the fact that I got so many people to sit down and watch a story like Before Night Falls, 2000, even at the expense, I felt, of some of my personal life. On No Country for Old Men, 2007, I think the movie speaks of a lack of meaning in violence. I embody violence, I am violence itself in the movie, and there is a man, who is trying to understand the meaning of it and at the end there is no meaning. I'm getting more comfortable now, but it will never get to the point as if you are doing it in your own language. When I say, I love you, or I hate you, in Spanish, many things come to my mind, aspects of my own life. When I say it in English, I don't have the memories. On his character of Chigurh in No Country for Old Men, 2007, all the work I usually do, imagining the past, the circumstances of the character in this case I didn't do it. We all saw him as a force of nature, the embodiment of violence. On working with Alejandro Amenabar again, I wish I could work with him again. He's so secret. He doesn't even tell me and I go, give me a break, man. Give me a role. He works secretly. I guess he will be shooting soon. I hope so, because he's amazing. All of the good movies are based on how that story was told. And you cannot do it with a bad script, that's for sure, no matter who. What does my performance have to do with Russell Crowe's? Nothing. If I play Gladiator, 2000, and we all play Gladiator with Ridley Scott in the same amount of time, maybe we have a chance to see who did it best. We actors always say how difficult and physically demanding a role was. But give me a break, it's only a movie. The only thing I can do is act, but it's not something I even feel comfortable doing. It costs me a lot, because I'm a shy person, even if I don't look it. When the Cones called, about casting him in No Country for Old Men, 2007, I said, listen, I'm the wrong actor. I don't drive, I speak bad English, and I hate violence. They laughed and said, maybe that's why we called you. I truly consider myself non-sexy, which is fine for me. 
I don't have any problem with that. Sometimes I would like to have Brad Pitt's body. But that's not something that obsesses me in a real way. And second, I truly believe that what I would like to portray on screen or on stage are human beings, and human beings usually are not as handsome as movie stars. But most times being handsome on screen or being handsome for real life has to do much more with your vanity and your profound need to be liked by the rest of the people, be loved by the rest of the people. Thank you.